Hi again with another video of Linux Mint 20 and today I will show you how to share files and folder in your local network. It will, this video actually is split in two, uh, how to share Linux Mint and another Linux Mint 20 with Warpinator and how to activate Linux Mint 20 to share files and folder with other operational systems. If you go in the menu search and type Warpinator you have a new application which is just developed by Linux Mint team. It's available only for Linux Mint 20 for the moment. When you start the first time the application, it will create a folder in your home, uh, which is calling Warpinator. And that's where the folder by default will be transferred. As you can see, I don't have any machines right now available. And if I go in preferences, I have a few options. For example, to select another folder where the files will be transferred. Also, I can activate it uh, automatically to launch. So every time uh, it will be ready for use. You also can uh, activate uh, to, uh, to allow you to ask for permission if someone's sending you files. And if you have firewall on your machines, you can just press the button update firewall rules. Usually in the local network, very little people using firewall at all, but just in case you have it, you can just press it. Okay, here it is. Our first Linux machine 20 is ready. Let's go to our second Linux machine 20. Do the same menu, type Warpinator, start the application. This time we already have one machine running with Warpinator, so we should to be able to find it. Here it is. Now the both machines with this application launch can see each other. As you can see the, the preferences are the same, but this time on the second machine I will disable to asking for uh, authorization when you somebody is sending you files just to see uh, that you can uh, see actually the differences you have two options of sending files one of them is uh, drag and drop and the other one selecting uh, manually first you have to click on the uh, let's go to the first machine actually as you can see now the first machine also can see my second machine which has been uh, working right now with warpinator if you click twice on the on the computer which you want to send files you have options to send like a button send files and there have browse button but for me it's more easy just drag and drop why not so let's take in one file drop it inside and it says completed you remember i disable to not asking for authentication authorization and all kind of stuff like that Let's transfer now from the second machine to the first one, which will ask and require uh, this uh, permission. So let's take one file. Uh, let's not forget to go inside of the machine. Here it is. Drag and drop the file. This time, as you can see, it will say that it's it's waiting for uh, authorization on the other side or permission and here it is the notification which say hey somebody send you files do you really want it or just deny it i would say yeah i allowing this file maybe in the computer environment like a business or something it's very worthy but in uh, your home, I really doubt that it's really necessary. So this is everything what you need to know about this Warpinator. Let's go back to preferences just very fast. 
this is the place where where you can activate to not asking for this uh, notification permissions and the great uh, switch button on the top is that uh, a warpinator will work all the time when you start in the computer now if you close the warpinator it doesn't mean that it will stop working it will work in the background you see the small icon in the taskbar near to your clock so if you want to shut it down, right button, quit. Now nobody can send you any longer files. As you can see, the first computer already found that the second one is not accessible because the warpinator is no longer running. You can shut it down on the menu as well. That was so easy, I'm happy with this new tool which Linux Mint developer made it. Now, how you can share between other operational system? First, I will show you Windows 10. If you go to settings and networking, you have to activate uh, file sharing. Because it's our local network, I do not require um, passwords when I transfer files, so I will disable password requirement and click the button for saving the settings. Now I will show you in Windows 7 how you can activate the folder and file sharing. You have to go to control panel networking and share center on the left side you see advanced options and here are the places when you have to activate files and folder sharing and disable the password protection it doesn't mean that your computer is vulnerable it, it means that if you share a particular folder, the people can send and read files only from this folder without asking for username and password. So you're pretty much saved. When you're ready, just click button for saving the settings and our Windows is ready. I will create a folder share and share in our local network. So let's create a folder I will call share. Right button properties. And because we activated sharing, you have a tab sharing. Press the button share. Because I want everyone to be able to read and write, I will select everyone click add and i'll give permission to read and write now the this particular folder is shared and i just have to just click save and close if i refresh everything is ready the folder is in my documents And at the moment I don't have any files inside. If I click network, I will be able to see my own computer, Windows 7, because this is the only computer at the moment which is allowing sharing. Let's activate in Linux Mint uh, this service share as well. Again, create a folder, I will call share as well. right button share options and as you see on the bottom the blue message will tell me that you need to in install Samba this server is required to share folders so let's install it menu administration software manager Type Samba
you have to select the application Samba without any uh, strange text around, just pure simple Samba. When you go inside, to be sure that is the right package, you will find that uh, the blue link, it says samba.org or Samba organization, that's the right one, and click the button install. It's unbelievable actually how Linux Mint is so easy now to share and uh, operate installing packages without uh, any commands. Now our package is ready, so I will close the windows. Just for the sake of it, I will reboot the machines just to be sure that everything is absolutely uh, ready to work. Here it is, our Linux Mint is ready. So let's uh, share our share folder. Uh, folder. So uh, we create it in the documents, right button, share options. Now don't have a blue message, just you have to click in this switch button. Because I don't want to be bothered by username and passwords. I will check the two check boxes which allow everybody to read, write and overwrite documents. This particular folder is just to transfer files. Nobody can see my other files and folders. So, and it's uh, our home network, so it's completely safe, right? Press the button share. If you're asking for some additional permissions, you have to click yes, do all setting automatically. You see a small tag? Here it is, our folder is already shared. Let's go back to our Windows 7. Refresh. Ta-da! We have our Linux machine. I can see my folder. Are we ready to transfer some files? Let's drag and drop. Boom. File is already in my Linux machine. Now, just to let you know that have a small um, icon, like a tag for locker. You can see the file, but you cannot actually modify. Uh, excuse me, modify it. If I click right button permissions, you see that it says this file has been created by someone else, it's not you. You don't have rights to really read and write. But if I copy this file and paste it outside, for example, in my document folder, Now I can read, write, because I am owner of this file. Let's check it. Right button, permissions. Here it is. I have full permissions to do whatever I want because I am the owner of this file. Just to let you know about this. So if I click on network and sometime you see, oh, I cannot see, I cannot access anything. Don't worry, just close your browser or explorer or whatever file manager it is and open it again. Click back network. Here it is. I can see my Windows 7 machine. I will see a bunch of files and folders. That's because Windows like to share some services, but you don't have access to them. Now I'll put my username and password. You need password to activate the button share but my Windows 7 doesn't really require them. I think it's from Windows, uh, from Linux Mint requirement. So let's go back to see. Here is my share folder in Windows 7 machine. So let's uh, transfer some files.
I will go my, to my uh, document folder, have a few text files and just simply drag and drop. Ta-da! Done! Okay, let's go back. Uh, this is our Linux main machine. Let's go to my share folder of the Windows. It was in my documents, share, and here it is. File is transfer. I can open, edit it. I can do whatever I want. Is that easy? I am happy that now it's so easy in Linux Mint to transfer this file. Thank you to be with me and maybe I will see you next time. Bye bye.